Another taste just to get my kicks And I'll be gone we here at Texas Local Live have been giving artists the tools they need to spread their content throughout the internet. So this year, we're going to step it up a notch. Introducing our 2018 Songwriter Competition. Go to our website at texaslocallive.com slash competition to register your entry. It's $25 per, and it'll get you in the running for the final competition. We will hold a top 10 final competition at Sundown of Granada on May 6th. So get those entries in soon, and we'll see you there. Good luck in 2018. Welcome to Texas Local Live. I'm Ben Martinek, and tonight we've got Mr. Justin Myers here in the house. How's it going, Justin? I'm doing all right. How about yourself, doing bud? Doing really well, yeah? man. Thanks Good for coming deal. in. Yeah, appreciate you having me. Oh, for sure, man. We are uh, chit-chatting here earlier, just kind of behind here, a uh, little football talk. Uh, you're from Georgia originally, yeah? Or? I was born in Georgia. I was, but I grew up in Nashville, so okay. it's kind of a weird ah. little deal there. Well, tell us a little bit about about your history, other than you know, Roll Tide and all that. We're gonna hear that. I'm thinking we're gonna hear that for the next month. I know so. it, it makes no sense. He's like, he's from Georgia, grew up in Nashville, and he's an Alabama fan. <laughs> just, just leave that one alone. We're just gonna move forward, man. Um, I, I grew up in Nashville, just like, just pretty much your average kid. I was a, I was a jock. I actually grew up playing ice hockey. Nice. In Nashville. Um, That's yeah, awesome. I did. I would I would actually train up in Guelph, Ontario, just outside of Toronto for three huh. months out of the year. That's cool. And um, I loved it. I still play. I play for a military charity hockey team now. That's awesome. What position? You uh, I'm a goalie. Yes, I'm the, I'm the nutcase yes. on the team, and if I ever played hockey, that's what I would do. Be goalie. Yeah. For, oh, it's a lot of fun, it, and um, that group is, is they're hockey saved. So if you guys ever want to look them up, they're amazing. And yeah, I'm I'm the absolute nutcase on the team, and there was no <laughs> doubt about it growing up. And <laughs> You know, I fell into that position and fell in love with it, and I still play to this day, and I, I dread the day that I have to put the pads up and they just become decoration on my oh, wall. Oh, no, man, just keep on. <laughs> keep it going, man. Keep joining those leagues as you grow through the years. Yeah, sure. well, you know, that's what I'm trying to do. And, um, you know, I play for a couple teams here, and then, like I said, the charity team back home in yeah. Nashville when I'm there. And, and then um, I was in the Air Force for – like nine years so oh. real proud of that oh, yeah. and loved Thank it you for and, service for that, oh man. yeah absolutely it's, it's amazing probably some of the greatest times of my life oh, and yeah. it's funny i wanted to go to aviano italy when i was in basic training yeah. i filled out my dream sheet for that right. and <laughs> and they sent me to cheyenne wyoming so <laughs> they just misspelled it i think is what happened there. Just <laughs> they just figured they were like he's not gonna <laughs> notice uh, yeah he's not gonna notice yeah it's a lot colder in cheyenne yeah, than it slightly. was Sure. With the beach patrol that the cops did in Amiano, Italy. <laughs> oh, man. That's a rough, rough life there. You know, but I'll admit, Cheyenne was amazing. It was cool. gorgeous. Um, I don't know if you've ever been there. No. Uh, beautiful country. And the, uh, the two weeks of summer are just wonderful. Yeah. Yeah, right? <laughs> Catch it just right. Yeah. I yeah. Actually, those I those two weeks are great. Hole. Check out that area, man. Oh, It'll yeah. Be amazing just to see all They're that. all beautiful up there. It's huge. Yeah. Just sky. And just not, I mean, we can associate here in Texas a little bit, but it's not even – no hills here no. nothing really. no there's it's nothing and you just look road. and it just goes for miles oh. and you it's truly where you can look out and you think that people just fall off the other side right i mean it's oh, it's insane and That's cool. you know and you can see stars which you don't see everywhere stars. what the hell is <laughs> people that? don't realize how bad <laughs> yeah. light pollution actually oh, works until you're somewhere where there's no light yep. you know so yeah exactly. it's pretty cool so you, uh, yeah, we just went off on hockey in, in Wyoming there, man. I could talk about that all day yeah, long. Yeah, you told me to tell Dude, you about you're it. Right. I appreciate it. No, really, that was interesting. Um, the hockey, man, that's getting me. But um, when you uh, play tunes, I mean, well, have you played anywhere? I mean, you must play other states and travel around a little bit. So where have, have you gotten into? Um, you know, it's been really cool. I've been really lucky. I've gotten to play in California some, nice. um, Colorado. I did like a, a whole two week thing in Colorado oh, not too long awesome. ago, and that was amazing out there up in the mountains. Was that re was recently you said? Oh uh, yeah, over the summer. Over the so summer? like during, awesome. I, I didn't get to go in the winter time because yeah. I kind of want to go to. It's beautiful in the summer. Well, though. you know, I want to be an idiot and break my neck snowboarding, but. Uh, well. <laughs> There's plenty of time for that. <laughs> no, we went up and it was like it was uh, it was just a rapid white water season and yeah. everything like that and gorgeous and you know I played there I played you know. Um, up in Chicago, I did some stuff. Nashville, obviously. Yeah, I grew up sure. playing there for years. And I think that's just the way I like it. I love to travel. Yeah. And I think part of that grew up from playing hockey because I was on a travel team and we traveled all over the country. And so that part of me never really goes away. Uh -huh. So I think it goes love... hand in hand with music. Sorry. I mean, oh, yeah. Right, but it goes totally hand in hand does. with that music. Too. Oh, that's yeah. why I wanted to pick your brain and see what you're. You have to be a little bit of a road dog with. if yeah, you want to do this. I sure. mean, local stuff is amazing, and that's where you build an audience and you build a crowd. But it, it's, 
you know, when you're standing in front of a group of people in another state where they have no oh. idea what you're doing and they're looking at you kind of funny and you know you got to win guy? them over, yeah, it's kind of a cool thing. Yeah, so. it's very cool. It's daunting, but once you conquer that, I feel it's just like, you, what next? What can I do? Like, yeah. What can't I do, you know, at that yeah. point, right? You know, when you walk into a room and then nobody knows you and by the end of the show, they, they want you back. Yeah. It's really cool. That's crazy feelings for sure. So growing up in Nashville, I mean, obviously music is enthralled there. And we hit, again, the Texas-Nashville yeah, debate the whole continues, rivalry. right? Yeah, <laughs> whatever rivalry that is, I guess the music. You know, I, I get that. And, and in all honesty, I'll admit, I was driving in the truck, and I knew that we were going to touch base on that because yeah. it always does. <laughs> and and the way I look at it is I, I don't see it personally. I don't view music as a region or an area. I don't even really view yeah. it as a genre. Yeah. Because just because it's not your cup of tea doesn't mean that it doesn't influence somebody else For sure you know so i think we should just view music as a gift and it, it's something we're all lucky to have and yeah. just move forward with that yeah. and Squash. there's great music in nashville there's great music in texas and there's terrible music in nashville and there's terrible mm-hmm. music in texas and you know we're all just we're all just trying to sell a lot of beer and have a good time yeah that's the game right <laughs> that's pretty much exactly what we're supposed to be doing yeah the whole the whole rivalry thing i mean like you know we have Family, I guess Jed has some family there, his sister's there. And by the way, Jed, again, behind the camera, so you can throw yeah. your hand out if you want to wave or something. No, he's, just being, <laughs> he's being camera shy. Um, but, yeah, so, we, I mean, it's all over. And, you know, you help each other out. We've had people on the show that have been, you know, from uh, with Smithfield on with her, like, running mm-hmm. there right now. So um, it's just interesting to hear the dynamic of it all. And, again, obviously, we know the issues of the Nashville pop country oh, versus yeah. the red dirt, like, to your roots country. But oh, yeah. You know, that's just a matter of style. It's it a matter is a matter of, of taste, into, and I, yeah. I feel like that there's enough in country music that it can encompass all of it. And I think exactly. that's the cool thing about country is that it is that genre of music that can have such a diverse style and sound, and there's, an, there's something out there for everybody. Yeah. And anytime I hear somebody say they don't like country music, I, I make a bet with them. I was like, I bet you I can find a song that is country that you will love. I like that. Whether you consider it pop country, traditional country, Texas country, whatever, there is something in that field that you're going to relate to because yeah. it's it's stories. Yeah, you have a lot to pull. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah, it's stories. And it's it's not just stories, I guess. It's more, it's just the way it's told. And I guess there's something about the, the energy behind mm-hmm. the country music. Maybe it's that you've lived it or someone really close lived it. Um, and it's not, I don't know, something, I, I'm a rock guy, blues guy, blues oh, for yeah. sure. I mean, Love that's definitely, blues. uh, that's definitely the same kind of cup of tea, but it's all rooted from that. So it's interesting, like dynamic. And I guess the Texas guys would be, you know, arguing, well, we, uh, well, you know, the, and, the thing about, I think that really gets people about country music the most is how relatable the artists are to their fans or to yeah. the people. Yeah. Um, country music to my knowledge, is really the only one that does a festival like CMA Fest where the artists come out every year and they sign autographs for a week. Right. And they come out, and I actually got to do this a few years ago, and it was probably the coolest thing I ever did. I got to stand at an autograph booth for like eight hours signing mm. autographs, and nobody knew who I was, but they were just excited that we were there. And seeing all the all the artists, even old and new, just coming out and doing that was impressive. And Texas does its own thing like that, but they do it show for show. And I've always thought that was so cool how when the artist gets done they go over to their merch booth and they stand there and they sign autographs and they give hugs and everything and that i think is what sets country music apart from everything else yeah is they still have that Mm one-on-one you know and they make a point to keep the one-on-one and that's important yeah oh very much so especially when you're writing songs that are (laughs) oh yeah one-on-one right exactly you're writing a song for one person you know it's it's very true. You got to stand by your guns on that one. So, oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. So speaking of songs, let's hear a little bit about uh, some of your writing. Some of your, I'd like to hear the way you write, your style. If you have a process, is always kind of something we like to get into here. You know, my writing process. It just it almost. I'm I'm a very emotional writer. Okay. So when I'm emotionally charged is when I'm most creative. So yeah. it's like if I'm if I've got an event going on in my life where I'm really unhappy, I'll produce a lot of stuff. Or if yeah. I'm really excited, I'm writing a lot of stuff. And there's no real written rule to it. You know, I write with a buddy of mine um, who is my producer, Ryan Sutton, out of Nashville. We literally grew up together. And I love writing with him. And I'm always open to writing up with new guys and everything like that. But me and him just kind of have this deal. And I'm more of a lyricist than a melody guy. And Mm -hmm. he'll just come up with these licks and I can just fill them in. And it's, it's cool. But I write really in the realm of what I know. 
I don't like to go outside of that. Oh, I know sure. some guys that can, and I'm not really good at writing trendy yeah. lyrics. Yeah, I'm terrible at it. It's really hard. <laughs> it, you know, and people are like, oh, that's easy. I'm, no. Yeah. No. It's, it's, it really is a gift. It's, I mean, it's a gift as much yeah. as writing from, you know, the heart, like you said. But, yeah. yeah. And, um, but I have such an eclectic taste in my music and such a wide range. I mean, you know, I listen to anything from Ray Charles to Garth Brooks you know, Prince, mm -hmm. ACDC, so it's all over the place, but I'm a big fan of the storytellers, guys like Elton John and, yeah. and, and Bruce Springsteen and Bob Seger and all these guys that, that are going to tell you a story in their music at the same time. So that's kind of where I try and do it, is I, I start out with an idea or a feeling, and I want to tell a story behind it, mm -hmm. you know, as to why. Right. So, and that's kind of where Lonely Tonight came from, is, is just the beginnings of, of how I was feeling about this situation, and I wanted to tell the story and describe as to what I was feeling with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The and that's kind of where it came from. Yeah. Experience, whatever is going on there. Yeah. yeah, exactly. That's awesome, man. Yeah, and that's that's what it takes, especially in this business. And it, I, like you said, back to that point of the fans that are in here too, uh, in this industry, I guess, it's they tie to that so closely, and it's just it's incredible what – a couple lines can do to the mood of everyone or what it can not do for that matter, you know, writing something that you oh, really yeah. don't have a drive for. Like if you would have written or if you, someone else would have written your scenario. Yeah. It, it would have been you can tell totally instantly, different, you yeah. know, but I feel like the cool thing about music is, is it's not, it's, it's an emotion. It's a memory. It's your yeah. first kiss. It's your last right. kiss. It's a goodbye. It's a hello. There's something that you can tie to a song to a memory directly. Mm -hmm. And when you have music connect itself with a memory, that's probably one of the coolest things. Oh, yeah. Everybody yeah. can remember the song that they d they danced with their high school crush to if they got to do that. Right. Everybody remembers their their wedding song, stuff mm -hmm. like this, and that's that's where that connection goes. I can I can remember the music that was playing at my dad's funeral. Yeah. You know, because I connected with those songs. Granted, we played Don't Fear the Reaper at my dad's oh, visitation. Nice. If that gives you any kind of indication incredible. as to the wild guy my dad was that's great but man. that's the cool thing about music yeah. is it's the only thing out there where you connect directly with it with an event in your life uh -huh. man, you know we we have our favorite movies and stuff like that and we can remember the first time we saw indiana jones but it's not connected directly to an emotional memory yeah yeah it's just the theme. yeah it's yeah. there and it's it's it's, it's yeah. just as important and it's it's a great thing because it inspires you but it just it, it's not like man, almost like a almost like a scent like yeah you know, oh yeah, yeah yeah exactly yeah I mean it's one of the senses man you're tying yeah. to it and then again put the lyrics in with it that's just exactly compound exactly it. so uh, you had some I mean you've been doing stuff for a while now yeah I mean how many years you would say off the top of your head you've yeah. been writing singing I think I started writing when I was about 14 years old. Okay, nice. You know, I've been writing since I was a little kid, and it was because of Ryan. You know, he had a guitar, and I thought it was awesome. Yeah. And um, my dad had a big Bose stereo system that, that played multiple CDs at once, and so we put all the Gar CDs in there, and I would sing, and we thought we were Garth Brooks. And then it just eventually kind of became writing after that. And, yeah. You know, and that's just kind of where it was, is I remember every now and then I'd get these little kicks where I'm writing like five songs at once. And nice, yeah. Just, just passing it over to Ryan. <laughs> There you go. Feel like make them sound good, man. Do this, yeah. Make this. Work. Yeah, yeah, and it, it just it slowly became an obsession because I used to want to be a professional athlete. That was that was my goal. I yeah. wanted to play professional hockey, and um, that was where my mindset was. But it was just funny how music just eventually just kind of took over. Hmm. So very interesting, man. Um, yeah, the athlete thing is crazy too. That's just a cool concept behind everything. Just like you said, it all molds together with the road. It's mm -hmm. just it's fast. I was an athlete too, not at that caliber by any means, but. Um, it's interesting to hear. What how did you that play? Goes. Uh, football, baseball. Okay. Yeah, a little okay. bit of everything. I like to whatever I can get into. I tried baseball, but I can't sprint. Yeah. I can't because my feet kind of turn out when oh, I yeah. run. Yeah. Because I've got those big pads on my legs. Uh, so when I start to run, my feet, I look like a duck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Keep in the net, man. In the net yeah. be good just let go. me just let me take hundred mile an hour shots there at the face. Go. Yeah. I'm good at the it. Action speeds there. It's just uh, <laughs> don't make just me don't run. Run anywhere. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So uh, what's up? What's what else is new, man? What's gonna come up this year for you? you got any plans uh, in the next few months? The big goal is is we're currently working on a new record. Okay. Um, and who's we? Let me hear you. Me some, and Ryan, you, and, and okay. yeah, we you know he's producing. Like okay. Well, we you know we bring in session yeah, guys yeah, and I everything just like know, that. Yeah, um, you know, so we're we're working on that and um, just trying to wrap that up. But it's yeah. funny how it it 
our concept of it kind of keeps shifting and shifting and shifting. Oh, and so it's, right. it's the hardest thing is, is to narrowing it down to a theme. And right now we're trying to polish up a tune that I think will be the lead off tune. Mm -hmm. And if it does, it's going to be exactly what we need to set the tone for the rest of the record, Nice, which would be nice. That's so great. hopefully yeah. that'll be out. I'm not, hopefully it will be out before the, before the end of the year, hopefully in the next couple months. Nice. It's just settling down on the right things to say yeah, and getting sure. it out there. So you're going to so. do like, um, I guess you have a couple songs in mind. Obviously, I'm mm -hmm. sure you write all the time, but have a few in mind. You want to like release as singles then, not necessarily, yeah. or maybe an EP or? You know, well, we're going to do a six track EP. And okay. I think I think that's the way everybody goes these yeah. days, more and more and more. We were originally going to do 12 and um, just kind of decided. I was like, you know, I love doing 12 because I want the record to be an entire thing. But my first one was a six track EP and it's mm -hmm. done really, really good for me. So I just said, let's stick in that vein and not kind of flood it. Yeah. And um, finish out. I'm writing basically to complete a full live show with it almost. It's yeah. kind of how you look at it. And yeah, we've got two or three tracks picked, picked out for it. And then we're still trying to kind of. Yeah, balance you, out the yeah, rest of I, it. Once you so. get that one leader going, I'm sure it's yeah. just going to follow suit. For yeah. Sure. Well, you know, it started out as one concept, and then it became another one, and then now once we started writing this song, it has become almost a completely different thing again. And yeah. so we're kind of like, okay, which one do we want to stick with? Right. And as far as knowing what to put out as a single, I don't know yet. I won't yeah. know until we're kind of done. Yeah. It just I just always like to get the grasp. I mean, the whole point of this entire show really started from obviously two musicians getting into it. Uh, but the whole point was just to get an idea, well, not an idea, but give artists a yeah. platform. But the more I've been doing this, the more I've been talking to artists, the more I'm like, okay, what are you doing? You know, what's your perspective on the mm -hmm. road? What are, you, what are your strategies out there? And yeah, that's one of the big ones is album release. And how do you go about doing that singles like mm -hmm. monthly versus, you know? Having, you know, it, it's it's kind of funny because when you're an independent artist, it's a different ball game. Exactly, yeah. And when that's, you don't have a label or yeah. the money behind you. And I mean, let's be realistic, you know, money helps a lot in this uh, industry. A little bit. Yeah. You know, that's why they call it the music business. But <laughs> um, when you're an independent guy and you're clawing and you're, and I call us, I call us all knuckle draggers and it's not an insult. It's just those guys that get out there and they're going to play 300 dates a year, anywhere and everywhere they can. They yeah. don't care if it's a coffee shop or it's in front of 20,000 people, they're going to play and work as hard as they can because that's just how they do it. Yeah. And, um, you know, when you're one of those guys and you're trying to kind of claw yourself up and get noticed, your game plan is completely different as to where you have a budget sitting in your bank account of fifty thousand yeah, dollars, saying, "Okay, this is going to use this for yeah. promotion." You got to find other angles. Yeah, exactly. So Be and that's smart with it, yeah, with it. and that's the thing that's unique nowadays is it's like digital and you, how do you, mm -hmm. what's your strategy and how it is a little bit can be convoluted i guess so but it it's, is it's uh you can just throw at it though and a lot of schmoozing which i'm terrible at yeah i'm awful <laughs> i'm horrible at yeah. it because i'm such a naturally shy guy yeah, yeah i want to go out and oh when i get into a room and i don't know anybody room, yeah. i just kind of <laughs> just kind of sit in a corner I'll you know here. i'm gonna be playing here in a little bit yeah. <laughs> be, you know i'm gonna be up there in a minute yeah. Just, yeah i get i get so shy yeah you're the guy that like no one knows you're the musician like you're hanging out having a beer and then all of a sudden you're boom. You're like, oh, that's, that's, oh, that yeah. Was, I just had a beer with him. Yeah. Was, you, know. you know, or, you know, I mean, even, even just in events and functions, yeah. when you know you have to be this way, yeah. I, I'm terrible at it. Yeah, I know. I'm yeah. terrible. Working a room, <laughs> man. It's crazy. Well, uh, do you, I mean, do you have some social plugs you want to get out there to everybody? Yeah, Looking man. I mean, you can them? follow me on, on all my social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Um, I think my Instagram is Justin Myers Music. I think I just okay. changed it to that. Twitter and Facebook are Justin Myers 3320. Okay. Um, you know, and those are the easy ones I did. I I'll, I'll admit, I tried the Snapchat thing, but it's the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, and I, can't, I got it, but Jed's the only one that snaps me. So I, I, deleted, I deleted it off my phone because it was just – it wasn't for me. I, yeah. don't, I don't see any use for it for it's, for yeah. for pushing. And uh, aside from like when you can put your face behind like the little dogs and make stupid voices. That's pretty much that's exactly pretty what I use it for. Yeah. But yeah, I'm on all those things. You got my Reverb Nation. I've got a Pandora station. Nice. Um, and on Spotify. So yeah, I mean you can pretty much get it anywhere. And if you want to buy a million copies of my record, it's on iTunes and Amazon. There so if go. somebody wants to buy a million copies of it. I'll there. shake your hand and say thank you. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Send you a thank you card. Real crisp, clean thank you card. <laughs> It'll be really right nice. It'll be handwritten <laughs> it and everything. Be It'll be fancy. Yeah. <laughs> With blue ink. <laughs> I don't know why that sounds fancier. Blue ink. Just why not? I, I figured I'd write it with one of those old quills. Oh, there you, you know, go. Oh, yeah. Now you're taking it to the next level. Really, man. really get cool, into that. Man. It would look terrible if I did that. <laughs> 
A little calligraphy action, man. <laughs> My handwriting is horrible. <laughs> <laughs> well, Justin, man, we want to hear some tunes from you because that's why we want to be here. Oh, yeah, So we're going to get those tunes cranking up here in just a second. But thank you for stopping by. Oh, thank and, you for uh, having me. We're going to have to come check you guys out. Go check them out, y'all. Justin Myers all over the web. Thank you, guys. We'll get to those songs next. <laughs> Appreciate it. This is Justin Myers, and this is my song, If You're Lonely Tonight. If I'm not supposed to love you Why does it take all night to say goodbye If I'm not supposed to hold you Why when I do I get butterfly I'm not gonna fight it I'm not gonna live like it's not the truth If you're lonely tonight Why don't you just stop on by I light the candles If you bring the wine I'll play some music you love Just the two of us Staring in each other's eyes If you're lonely tonight Maybe we should stop pretending Start seeing things We there's some boobs to me Maybe tell me what you think Leaning close, whisper your words to me. I'm not gonna fight it. I'm not gonna live like it's not the truth. If you're lonely tonight, why don't you just stop on by? I light the candles, you bring the wine. I play some music you love. Two of us staring in each other's eyes if you're lonely tonight. Oh, please don't. Oh, please don't live like it's not the truth Oh, please don't fight it Oh, please don't live like it's not the truth If you're lonely tonight Why don't you just stop on by I light the candle If you bring the wine Play some music you love Just the two of us Staring in each other's eyes If you want lonely This song is The Devil May Take Away. Another line, another fix, another taste just to get my kicks. And I'll be gone. Getting stoned, but I ain't alone. Going home with a dancer from last night. It's San Antonio. Wake up and think she's in love She'll reach for me but I'll be back on the road And I don't care what you're thinking I live my life my own way I know inside I'm slowly dying But the body can give the devil may take away
Another night with no regret Music's loud and the stage is set I feed my addictive ways I stumble in the parking lot Already Jones up for another shot I've been at this now for days I ain't a sinner but I ain't a saint And I don't recall asking you anyway And I don't care what you're thinking I live my life my own way I know inside I'm slowly dying can't give the devil may take away And I don't care what you're thinking I live my life my own way Inside, I'm slowly dying. Yeah, I know inside, I'm slowly dying. What the body can't give, the devil may take away. Another line, another fix, another taste just to get my kicks, and I'll be gone. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Check us out at TexasLocalLive.com for everything else that's going on in our world. Be sure to check us out on all the other social media platforms we have at Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat at Texas Local Live, and we hope to be seeing you around.